Well, hey family, this is Darlene, Jerry by BDK. Wanted to stop in like really quick and say, hey, um, I got a couple emails from, uh, not a couple, but enough emails from you all asking, uh, Darlene, where are you? How are things going? Um, we haven't seen you on the Facebook page. You haven't uploaded YouTube videos. You haven't done anything. Um, in the sense of uh, the jury business, I have been sending out orders and been doing things with the um, with the jury behind the scenes in the sense of um, working on getting more wholesale buyers. Um, and I've also been checking into some government contracts in the sense that um, the government has like these different places throughout here in particular in San Diego, they have uh, 32nd Street Naval Base. So I've been working on uh, trying to get a kiosk inside of their PX um, here in San Diego. So I have been doing a lot of things. I just haven't been posting or haven't been, you know, YouTubing about it or anything like that um, because it's taken a lot of work to get everything together, the paperwork, the samples, all that kind of stuff. Um, and also sending orders out from fair.com. That one I've been doing pretty good. And then also I have... Um, Regular customers that just buy from me all the time. So those orders always go out and they happen to have boutiques or they sell at events and that type of stuff. So I have been doing those things which are not social media related in a sense. Um, and also what I'm doing too is I'm waiting for orders to come in because I'm working on the leather and suede jewelry. So I'm waiting on the supplies to come in um, for that. And for some reason that's, that's kind of <laughs> taking forever. Um, for everything to come in so I can't begin to create without having all the supplies you know that I need to be able to create so that's one thing I've been working on that um, also just a lot of other projects I've been working on the ebooks trying to get those out so I can get those finished and have those done by um, hopefully by the end of February right in addition to that I was asked about Etsy if I'm going to continue selling on Etsy. Um, I want to say no, only because right now I have a bill to pay at Etsy, but I've only gotten two sales. So the sales do not equal what I owe them. So I don't like the idea of having to pay them and I haven't earned any income on the on the platform however the platform is good to have because when people do searches they find the Etsy shop in addition to that there are reviews on the Etsy shop that people can read through and they can also go to my uh, jurybybdk.com website so the Etsy shop with the reviews tells them the quality of the product right and I haven't gotten around to putting a review section on the actual website yet. And I'm going to work on that at some point. I don't know when, but I'm going to. So I'm kind of caught if I'm going to keep Etsy or if I'm going to let Etsy go. Because even if I, if I keep it and I'm paying, it's almost like I'm kind of paying for advertising, even if I'm not getting sales, if that makes sense to you. Because people can find the Etsy shop by searching for a certain type of jewelry on Google, right? And then they find the shop and then they go to my page, not page, but my shop, and they can see the jewelry, they can um, buy or not buy, they go to the website and I could track everything on my website and I do get traffic from Etsy um, and the majority of my traffic comes from Google, but I do get some traffic from Etsy. And it, it does kind of make sense. I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll still figure it out because I told myself by the end of December last year, I was going to make a decision if I was going to keep Etsy or not. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to see. Because there, there are some pros and then there's some cons. So I just got to figure out, you know, which is which and if, if it benefits me. So we'll see about that. Let's see. What else was it? Mm, I got some other emails. Okay, those were just checking on me. 
seeing if I was okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm working on the leather and suede jewelry. I'm working on projects outside of um, the jewelry. I'm working on the ebooks. Uh, what else am I doing? Just a lot of this and a lot of that. And I've also been helping my niece with her business and her accessories and, you know, like all that other kind of stuff. Just doing a whole lot of stuff. And then also like with my congregation, because there's a lot of um, seniors who live alone. Uh, they can't cook anymore. They may not have anybody to bring food. So uh, my congregation and I have, we've been trying to figure out um, a home delivery uh, food program for seniors. So we've been working on that. So that's another project we've been working on. And then, oh, also, I have the book distribution uh, for kids coming up February, what was it, the 18th? I don't know, but it's in February. So I've been working on that. So I've been busy. I've been, I've been doing quite a bit. On top of that, working my regular <laughs> end day job, okay? So I've been busy. I'm still around. And um, no sooner... Then all my supplies come in, I will begin making uh, more videos to show how I make the leather and suede jewelry. I'm um, doing all that. And I just wanted to bring in a little different something um, as opposed to just the, uh, the beaded jewelry. And remember, the reason why I started making beaded jewelry, because um, I initially started with leather and suede. And the reason why I stopped making leather and suede, because that little small family store where I was buying um, all my leather and suede scraps from, the store closed. And then it was very difficult for me to find, you know, really good quality leather and suede scraps, you know, at a good price. So that was, I'm like, wow, you just really, when they been out of, went out of business and the store closed down, I kind of almost went out of business too, because I really couldn't find that quality, you know, that I was used to. So I just kind of bounced over from the leather and suede to, uh, to be the jury. And if I had my choice, it would be leather and suede jury. So I did find a place, um, online, of course, and I ordered some leather and suede from them. And I'm hoping, because if the leather is too thick, I can't work with it. So it has to be the lamb skin. It has to be like really thin, nice, soft, uh, leather and, uh, and suede. So I'm waiting on that, that, uh, order to come in and I'm hoping and praying you know, that it is uh, the softness that I need in order, you know, to manipulate it to make the jury. So um, those are some things. So that's that's what I'm doing now. And let's see, what else do I got going on? There's always something, trust me, always something, always something. But um, it's all good stuff. It's all good stuff. You know, and I always say we all have 24 hours in a day. And it's like, basically, what do we do with our whole 24 hours? Um, we want to be um, good managers of the time that God gives us. Because remember, it's not promised to us. No minute, no hour, no day is promised to us at all. So uh, for me, I try to do the best that I can to be a good steward over my time. And whatever it is that God allows me to fill my days with and... I believe or hope that it would be pleasing to him, therein is what I do, right? So um, I try to be mindful of that. Like every single day, if the Lord came now and presented himself to you, would he be pleased or in acceptance to what it is that you are doing at this very, at this very minute, right? And I try to keep that at the forefront of my mind. And, and am I perfect with it? Absolutely. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm a human too. I'm a human too. And I have my days just like everybody else. You can trust and believe that one, okay? But for the most part, for the most part, I try to do the best that I can to be the best that I can every single day. Um, and my best may not look like the best to you or anyone else. But to me, at that time, in that moment, I am trying to do the best that I possibly can, right? Um, while living on this time side of life because um, I have seen a lot of death in the last year and a half, up close and personal and at a distance. And um, it's a, a very awakening experience 
you know, and it, it lets you see and know and understand that we all, you know, have an appointment with death. We just don't know when. And uh, for each day that God allows us to live, I think we need to be thankful uh, for those days and to manage our time the best that we can and hope that God will be pleased with whatever it is that we're doing, okay? Uh, but y'all didn't come here for a sermon, but you know, I'll give you one, okay? But anyway, thanks for checking on me. All is well. No sooner than all my supplies get in, I am going to begin. And that's another thing I told myself, too. I said, um, I have a habit of just uh, sitting down and start working. So I said, well, Darlene, why don't you just have the camera already set up so when you sit down, just hit the button and, and start, you know, recording. And I said that before, but for some reason I'll be neglectful, right? But I said, okay, I'm going to try to get better at it. Um, somebody asked me too, though. Oh, and the other one, the uh, one of you guys asked me if I would show you how to make the, uh, the cross, the beaded cross. I am going to do a video showing you how to do that one too. Um, that one, and then there is... I don't remember what it was, but it was something else somebody asked me to uh, to do. But I'm going to do that one for you, too. Oh, and then, um, oh, my God, what's her name? Nicole. I think her name is Nicole. Nicole was asking me the size of the bead. Um, and one of those, uh, you know, I don't know. what I, I got to go back and watch videos when you guys ask me the size or what it is. I don't be knowing. But I do believe... For Nicole, you were asking me the size of the black bead. That black bead is a black onyx, and it's a 12 millimeter. And it was the the, the video with the turquoise and the black beads and all that good stuff. But those beads are black onyx, and they're 12 millimeter. So I did uh, go back and check that one out for you. That's a 12 millimeter, okay? So I hope that helps. And a lot of you guys were telling me that you're kind of your new subscribers. Um... And if you're not in the Facebook group, we're at Jury by BDK on Facebook. So you're welcome to bounce over there and um, send a request to join. Them, <laughs> them ladies be over there. They is not playing with them. They is not playing over there, okay? They is, hmm. I mean, they making some beautiful pieces. And it's really cool because it gives you a place to share you know, your creations, and they're very supportive and everything in the little group, too. So I really appreciate all you guys. Miss Rita, Miss Teresa, Miss Joan, <clears throat> Miss Tamila. Um, oh, my God. Uh, who else? Miss Jeanette, Miss uh, Miss Tina, Miss Tina Martin. Tina, I ain't heard from you. I hope everything is well with you. Uh, Miss Tina. Oh, God, who else? Do it? It's like so many of you guys, and forgive me if I didn't... Um, if I didn't, Ladybug, <clears throat> um, oh my God, it's Miss uh, Gwendolyn, there's, uh, oh my God, there's so many of them. I, I, if, if I didn't say your name, please forgive me. Y'all know, mm, y'all know. Um, and let me see, let me see who else. But they be doing really good over there. I mean, they post and they're creative and they're showing their goods and like all that good stuff. And they're very supportive. So it's a really cool little group, Jury by Beauty K on Facebook. Um, and also, go ahead and subscribe, because I got some really good videos coming up with the Let and Sway. We going to make some stuff work with the Let and Sway, because you know that's my thing, that Let and Sway, okay? I'm going to make that work. Um, and then when you guys see what I use for the base, it's like, it's very simple, it's very easy. Um, and the thing with that is, I'm going to tell you this, and I got to go. Um, some years back when I was making the Leather and Sway jewelry, I used to sell at uh, Plaza Bonita Mall. And at Plaza Bonita Mall, there used to be this annual event that was, uh, oh my God, what was it called? African American Women on Tour. I think that's what it was called. African American Women on Tour. I think that's what it was called. But it would showcase all these different African American or black uh, creators. It was art. It was sculptures. It was jewelry. It was anything and everything that we made, right? And when I say to you, that was the grandest of the grandest, I hated when that thing ended. I mean, I hated when it ended. I would do so well at those events. I would be able to sell a leather piece of a leather bracelet 
for almost $200, right? A leather bracelet, right? Almost $200. And y'all know how I make jewelry. So you can imagine what that piece looked like. It was just absolutely amazing. And I would sell out every single time. It would be, wait, Friday, Saturday. I think it would be a three-day event. If it wasn't a three-day event, it was a two-day event. It was so long ago, Saturday and Sunday maybe. It might have been a three-day event. But whatever it was, I always sold out. And I always did really, 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 really well. So um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting back into making the leather and spray jewelry. So we'll see what happens. And I want to say uh, make it a good day. Today is Monday. Stay creative. Stay motivated right and just remember ain't nothing promised to us and let's be good stewards of our time and guess what we'll talk soon <laughs>